Third down and eight. Here comes pressure on Daniels right in his face as he gets rid of it about a yard short of that line the game connecting with Malik Neighbors. Well, they're just bringing a lot of heat right up the middle here. A lot of extra bodies at the point of attack. Dean Daniels is hot. He's got to get rid of this throw quickly. Really nice poise. They go with the tap pass to Neighbors, and it works. Well blocked, and Malik Neighbors is able to move the sticks. Really nice job. Chris Hilton Jr., the receiver, number 17 here. He does a nice job getting a little kick out on a DB, and that opens the lane for neighbors a nice wrinkle there Daniels on first down gonna quickly get it out right back to neighbors as he is able to drive towards the stick it's a good drive here in the opening possession for LSU and Daniels gets it over the middle of the neighbors again as he is ridden down by Nicholson a nice job that time by Nicholson playing high. They were trying to run underneath with neighbors, and he just sort of closed down on him and made a nice tackle. You want to tackle the catch. You see neighbors exiting the game a little gingerly. Pain, but something to keep an eye on as we move forward this afternoon, Tess. Back down a little bit of weight to help out. Daniels. As wide open as neighbors. Remember, he was favoring a shoulder moments ago right back into the game. And a good start to this drive for LSU. Malik Neighbors. It's a nice design by Mike Denbrock in the route concept. You've got two guys on the outside clearing out. You see that? And that opens up green grass for neighbors to run into. That is just easy pitch and catch. 32-yard reception. Daniels on first down. Going to take a shot to the end zone. And neighbors comes up with it. Malik Neighbors, outstanding touchdown catch from Jaden Daniels, who's a perfect 12 for 12 to start the game. And Jaden Daniels had the matchup he wanted. He had Neighbors, his best receiver against the safety in Hunter Washington on the fade throw. This is a throw they haven't hit a bunch of early this season, but they hit that exact same play in this game last year on a fourth and three situation. Neighbors showing you his suddenness, his ability to separate. That's why Daniels has so much faith and confidence in him. Good news for the LSU offense, knowing that number eight at receiver he looks pretty healthy. at safeties. He's seeing the rocking and rolling. He knows outside. I've got my best receiver against the safety on a fade route with nobody on the outside. Perfectly placed throw. A great decision. Getting it out early. You just see the burst that neighbors had. It's not fair for any safety to have to cover him one-on-one -on -one like that. Lots of weapons in this offense, Katie. And early, Jay Daniels looking good. Here's Daniels on fourth down. Going to launch it to the end zone. Neighbors holds it in. Malik Neighbors, my oh my, how about Jaden Daniels and this Tigers offense roaring? Jaden Daniels found the exact same matchup that he found earlier in the first quarter when he threw a touchdown to Neighbors. One-on-one -on -one against Hunter Washington, the Florida State transfer safety in the slot. On a critical down in distance, that's the guy Daniels likes to go to, and they have burned the Bulldogs twice on the exact same play. Well, Matt Brock, defensive coordinator, is wanting to be aggressive in this situation, play man coverage, but that guy versus a safety... It's not a good matchup if you're Mississippi State. LSU does a great job picking up the blitz on the inside, and it's just too easy. There's no contact. He never reroutes them. It's a perfect throw that he added in the offseason. Comes in handy on a play like that. It makes you feel a lot more. He's been targeted seven times. Jesse's got seven catches for 113 yards, and now two touchdowns. And that after the report that we got from Katie saying that he was favoring his shoulder. Freshman tight end was in motion there going upfield as Daniels drives the ball and gets it complete to Neighbors again.
Well, it's a really nice job up front in protection. Mississippi State's trying to stunt, and LSU's not giving up anything. They're giving Jaden Daniels tons of time to survey the field, you know. You go back and you watch them play Florida State week one against... It was Mac Markway, the true freshman tight end, who was trying to get in space for that block. Third down and nine. Daniels, shallow cross, and neighbors working his way upfield. He is unstoppable today. I think Matt Brock and Mississippi State need to change some stuff up in coverage because on third down, they're just dropping way too many guys deep, and it's just opening up these easy short throws on the drag routes on third down. Daniels is just playing better. Here is Daniels. Look at the time he has, and he's got a man wide open, and you know who it is. Malik Neighbors is just lighting it up this morning. This is against D. Cam Richardson. You see the route running by Neighbors here. This is a double move. He's going to run down, act like it's a curl, throttle down. That just gets Richardson to hesitate a moment. That's all Jaden Daniels needed. He got it out early and another explosive play for the Tigers. This is one of the most statistically impressive halves of football I've ever seen by a wide receiver. He has 10 catches for 191 yards. We got five and a half to play before we get it back to the studio in halftime. They actually had neighbors open again on the fade in the slot. It's the same play that he scored two touchdowns on. Watch him here in the slot. Work to the fade. <laughs> oh. Man, if Jaden Daniels wants that. I but we'll get into that in just a moment. Second and four. As Daniels, another completion, but this is gobbled up at the line of scrimmage as Neighbors was taken down by Marcus Banks. Third and three. Quick leap to the outside, and another first down on target to Malik Neighbors. Another catch for Neighbors as he has 12. 12 clutch catches for Neighbors. 14th ranked LSU, looking exactly the part of what... LSU had to make a one-hour bus drive to get here early this morning. So halfway, they stopped at a car dealership. Have a little walkthrough, stretch the legs, make sure they're on fire early. Oh, Jesse, they were. Now, was that car dealer's jersey? Well, they wanted to give it to Will Campbell this year. But he can't wear number seven because he's an offensive tackle, so he's wearing the patch. Daniels downfield and right into the arms of Malik Neighbors. It's another double move. Mike Denbrock has gone back to pass plays that have been working. We saw two fades against safeties. That time, the double move again against D. Cam Robinson. You're selling curl. You're trying to get Robinson to throttle down. And he just relaxed. When Robinson turned around, he did not know. Sorry, Richardson, we turned around, did not know where Neighbors was. How about Mike Denbrock? If it worked once, go back to the well. And he's done that a few times here in the vertical passing game. 45-yard reception. First and goal. Daniels pulls, gets free, and spins in again. Any dice, but his body, too. He's made plays all over the place. Look at that guy right there. Malik Neighbors. He set it up. Had another big reception. He has been dominating every single matchup that Matt Brock and Zach Arnett, you saw the defensive minds there, have put forth on him. Flag is down. Neighbors with 13 targets today and 13 catches. 238 yards. 238 yards in a second half where they've been running the ball. And then the man who's been running the ball so well, Jaden Daniels, brought it in. But this was the catch that set it up. Pylon came right into the basket. 